Hey guys, Seaweed from Tribal Soup Project here. Welcome to another episode of Simsational. You're watching the How to Cheat series. And today I am going to show you guys how to have as many club members or at least up to 50 members of a club. And um, you are going to need a mod in order to do this. And the mod you will need is MC Command Center created by Deaderpool. And MC Command Center does a extremely vast variety of stuff but you don't have to use utilize all of it if you're just looking to add a bunch of club members then i'm going to show you how to do that and if you don't know how to install mods i will show you how to do that at the end of this video but let's go ahead and jump right in and put some more club members to this knights of the hedge so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on any computer and then you're going to choose MC Command Center, then MC Clubs, and then Club Member Count. And this will allow you to put in as many as, you know, maximum or as few members as you would like. And we're just going to go ahead and um, put, let's say, 20 club members. And I'm going to hit OK. And then you are going to have to restart the game in order for those changes to take effect. So let me go ahead and restart. Now that I've restarted my game, there's one last thing that I am going to have to do in order for my new club members to take effect. And that's to go ahead and unlock these two um, member slots. So um, our club does have enough points. So I'm going to go into club points. I'm going to add one additional club member, then I'm going to add two additional club members, and now I should be able to add up to 20 club members. Let's just add a whole bunch of them. Boom, and I can scroll on down, and now I have a very large club indeed. So that's it, guys. Up next is how to install the mod. In order to put mods or any kind of custom content into your game, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have enabled that to happen within your game. We're going to go into the options menu and under other, you have this enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed. These two boxes need to be checked in order for you to put the custom content into your game. Make sure you apply your changes and you're ready to go ahead and exit out of your game and add your mod or custom content. So now that I've enabled mods and custom content in my game, I'm ready to go ahead and install the mod. And you're going to come to this page, which I will link down into the description below. And I am going to choose the most recent version of this mod, which at this time is the 8.00. And I'm simply going to click on that. And my um, zip files opens up automatically. But if yours does not pop up automatically like this, um, you will see down here where it says that it has downloaded. And you simply want to double click on it to open it up like so. So now I am going to come over here to my Windows Explorer. And I am going to navigate Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then Mods. And I am simply going to highlight all of these and drag them over to my mod folder. And it was that simple to install the mod and we're ready to go back into our game. So now that I'm back in my game, this little window that doesn't usually pop up has displayed. This is simply listing what mods or custom content you've successfully put into your game. And I'm simply going to click the check mark to acknowledge. And it was that simple, guys. I'm ready to go back into my game. I hope you enjoyed the video as well as learned something from watching it. If you did like the video and found it useful, please do hit that thumbs up button and give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Check out the website. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, guys, happy summing and I'll catch y'all later. Goodbye!